Um, just on uh, some availability this weekend, uh, Wilfred Ndidi, he was speaking pre-Ipswich uh, with Sky and said he was only two weeks away from, from fitness. How, is that correct? Is he going to be back in a couple of weeks? No, it's not correct. Uh, he didn't understand a uh, couple, couple of weeks. That means two weeks. This is what, I, what, what he said. So it's not two weeks. It's as we said at the beginning, it was three months and nothing changed. But uh, he didn't understand that couple means two weeks. That, that this is the reason why he said uh, yes. Okay, fine. Um, so you're still expecting him back around? Like, was it the end, end of March, early April time? Is that? I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. Um, we also had the news this week of, of Hamza Chowdhury's arrest. Um, I just wanted to double check whether is he still available for selection. For you, are you considering him for selection this weekend? Yeah, he's he's available. Yeah, yeah for sure. And we consider him uh, for for tomorrow game. And is there any fresh injuries in the campaign? One unavailable for tomorrow? Uh, no, I think they are all 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 available. So, um, on the transfer window, Ches we've seen Chesway Cassidy return to Chelsea at the the back end. Um, of last week. Um, I just wanted to ask whether that was a surprise really for you and the club to, to lose Cesare halfway through that run. was, yeah, big surprise for all of us because we didn't expect. Uh, Cesare was happy, was playing good minutes, uh, better game after game. And But as we said the last time, Chelsea is, is owner in terms of a player and they decided to bring him back. And yeah, for sure it was a surprise for us, especially in this moment, but uh, it's where it is. Does that leave you even more short, I guess, in the number eight position? Um, that you, you spoke before about different players and wanting to strengthen there. Yeah. Does that leave you even, even shorter there? Yeah, anyway, since we start, uh, I think in all our games, we always play with the Cesare Wilf, one of them. And uh, the last game we use... Uh, we try to adapt a little bit to manage the situation with the Ricky and Keenan. Uh, but for sure, Cesare skills and Wilf skills, they are different from Ricky or Keenan in terms of uh, physicality. So it was, uh, was a surprise for us, but uh, we, need to, we are here to try to find a solution. Could the solution now be that you have to go into the transfer market, into the market in order to bring another player in, in that position because you've lost one already and you you were you, you already spoke about wanting to improve and bring players in there. It, is there more pressure now for the club to actually have to go in and, and get them? It's not about the pressure. It's about uh, if we we can or we we we, we cannot. And the situation is uh, is quite clear in this moment that uh, we <laughs> we cannot do nothing at the moment. Um, obviously, Luke Thomas leave the club today on loan to Middlesbrough. Um, why, why was that decision made for Luke? No, Luke was already for the first six months, five months, he was already alone, come back here uh, and then uh, move again. So it was a, a normal normal decision. Uh, Birmingham up next in the FA Cup, they've got a different manager since the last time you played them, even though it wasn't that long ago. Uh, in your analysis, what have you seen maybe that's changed since then? For sure, you can see a team that uh, they try to react to the situation. So they are, uh, in this moment, very aggressive team. And they are trying to do something different. Uh, but the first thing that you can see is that uh, they, are, they are much more aggressive. Uh, if you remember, anyway, Sunderland, we already mentioned, was a very aggressive team, uh, intense. And they are trying to do something, something similar. That was going to be my next question about whether you can learn from Sunderland at the beginning of the season into what Birmingham are doing now, or because it's different players, is it very different? Yeah, there is, uh, the idea is more or less the same. You can see that they try to be more aggressive, but because the, the, the players, they are different, so something is not, uh, is not exactly, exactly the same. Uh, and finally, and so the FA Cup, we all know, is a special competition. And you're in the fourth round now, a win into the fifth round possibly, and then you're only one more game away from a, from a quarter final. It's easy, it's easy to get kind of running away with, with what could be 
in this competition. But when when you and the, the players are looking at the, the aims, really, I wonder how you see the FA Cup, its importance and what you want to achieve in this. No, for sure. Uh, we said many times it's an important competition. Hopefully we can go to the next round. But in the same moment, we are FA Cup Tuesday. So we need also to manage a little bit to manage a little bit the squad, the situation. As we said now, no Wilf, no Cesare. So we need to we need to uh, manage many things, thinking that uh, we would like to arrive at this game uh, and playing after one week. But it's not our case. We're gonna play after two, three days. So we need to manage that. Thank you very much. Best of luck tomorrow. And Enzo, at the FA Cup, obviously, you were there with Manchester City when they won it. Um, what are your memories of the competition? Was it a special competition for you, personally? No, yes, yeah, very nice, especially because you go to Wembley. Uh, so it's a very nice competition. Uh, it's not easy uh, because it's not uh, an easy competition, even if, if a, a good competition, because give everyone the chance to go to the next round. But uh, as we said, we are focusing tomorrow game. Hopefully that we can we can win the game and play the next round. And in the last round, you gave youngsters a chance. And Tom Cannon and Ben Nelson and Kuko Ark. Is that perhaps in your minds this weekend? Is it nice, you know, for the youngsters to play in the cup? Yeah. Because of course you're very tested with the league. Yeah, yeah. It will be a chance for them. It will be a chance for some more players from second team. As we said, we try to for tomorrow game. We try to involve also uh, the players that uh, in this moment they add less minutes but also some second team player uh, and yeah for sure we give them the the opportunity and um, jamie vardy and um, back in contention talked about players having less minutes is it an opportunity for him and it's great to see the influence that vardy has had on the team you've spoken about that before is, is he you know, even when he's not playing, he's still an influence on those younger players. Yeah, but Jamie is a, is a reference in this club for all the young players because of his history, uh, because of what he has done uh, in the last 10, 10 years. And for sure, it's a reference, as we said, for young players. Uh, he has been injured two months, more or less. Uh, now he's back, and hopefully we can we can use him more. Is it nice then to have him back? How important is he? I know, yeah, for sure. I'm happy to have all of them, uh, for sure, Jamie, but also all all the squad uh, fit and to to try to uh, choose the right players for each game. And um, sorry to ask about January again, the dreaded January transfer window. There are just a few days to go. Um, the situation for you, from what I understand, is players have to go out to come in, am I right? Yes. We need to sell to bring in. And is that, of course, because of financial constraints, how difficult is that for managers full stop at the minute? Because every club's got to work within the rules. No, but uh, it's not... Uh, uh, at the end, it's not difficult because uh, we are happy with the squad we have. The only problem in this moment with the... Uh, international duty and injury situation. So we are a little bit short, as we, 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 we said. Uh, but uh, uh, we are not, uh, how do you say in English? Yes, so yes, that we need to sell. Do you know, a compulsory, how do you say? Uh, yeah, you, you, can, how do you say? You don't definitely have to sell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> to bring in, yes, but uh, we don't need that. Probably because of the number now, uh, yes, but we are not allowed. And just finally for me, how much you enjoy things? Um, because, you know, in the league, you're seven points clear at the top. Um, it's great to watch Leicester and your players. Um, and, you know, around the place, it just seems a really good atmosphere. I'm very, <laughs> very happy, as I said, uh, since we start, because uh, I can see the, the team. Uh, growing, doing better with the many dif difficulty because uh, it's normal. As we always said, many things that we can do better. But uh, we, we are happy in the situation we are now, thinking that uh, we have still many games to play and many things to, to improve.